Paul is the uh, mayor of the town of Grand Bulgaria. Good morning. So I'm going to do my best to avoid the finger. Um, ne never got that as a politician, you know. Uh, not, not in our town, we're small. So if you don't know where Grand Valkyrie is, a lot of people keep asking me, well, where is Grand Valkyrie? Well, if you've been to the Grand Seafood Festival, you've been in our town. If you've been to the Valkyrie Airport, you've been in our town. That's where we are, South County. We used to be South Palm Bay, but they keep growing around us, so. They just keep growing. Um, but, uh, but, but we're a rural community, so we've, we're trying to protect the rural lifestyle. They've done in and, and created all of our things so that everybody in the main part of the town, they'll have one and a quarter acres, will be the minimum lot size to build a house on. So that's that's the idea behind it. So we did build a park a couple, three years ago. We built a town hall a year ago. We're pretty much done with the infrastructure for the town. We have 4,000 residents, so now it's about roads and, and things like that. So some of the stuff we've been working on this year is some trails. Uh, we've been able to, there's a sidewalk along Valkyrie Road. We're going to extend that farther along Valkyrie Road up to the park and the town hall. And we're also going to build one along Grant Road. And then we're cutting through Cory straight south, so which will be through the woods. So you'll be able to take the, the trail on Valkyrie Road, through the woods, back onto Grant Road. You can kind of make a circle around. So we've been able to do that. We've also worked with Malabar with their trails committee to try to look to see if we can't tie into some of the trails that are in Malabar and, and north of the north of the county so people can come there horses bikes you know those kinds of things so we've been doing that so that's one of our, our goals for the years to expand that take my glass up and read. Um, our housing starts we've actually been doing well our estimates for the year I think we're almost to meet what we thought we would have for the year already so we've been growing again not compared to some of the other large cities but for us you know uh, any percentage is good for us. So we're mainly residential in nature. We don't have a lot of businesses in town, so we do depend on that, the residential growing. So it's been doing well. Um, we've been doing also some uh, paving of some of our dirt roads. We got some money from the uh, the impact fee money that we're going to use to reseed into paving dirt roads. So that as we pave one, we'll get money back from those people, and then we'll pave another one. So it's it's a way to not borrow money, which we haven't done yet. We built a town hall in the park, and we haven't borrowed any money yet. So we're doing okay there. Um, we did have to increase our staff this year by 25%. So we added one person. <laughs> so, uh, so, so, but when we built Town Hall, we, we added an extra office just in case. So, so we're covered there. But we do, we do a lot of contract work. So our road grading, our, our mowing, um, ditch cleaning, all of that, sheriff and fire department with the county, we do a lot of contract work. So we don't have as many direct people because of that. But it's been working successfully for us so far. Um, one concern that we have that we'll see how many other people have the same concern. Um, some of our residents are concerned about the All Aboard Florida coming through, the speed of the train, the number of the trains. Um, we'll see how that works out. Maybe the cost. We're trying to avoid spending money on crossings until they come in and decide what they're going to do. Um, but but there is a concern for us. Uh, we don't see any financial benefit to our town. There's just going to be towns unless we can go down and wave to them as they go by. That's going to be about it. Uh, there'll be some advantage, maybe, maybe in the county somewhere, but otherwise they're just going to be going through. Um, so the only thing I want to point out is that, that we've been a town hall of 10 years. So this is our 10th anniversary this year. We've had Grandpa Carry Day already, but it's July 26th was our day when the people voted to become a town. And, and so far, we don't have too many complaints. I think we're doing okay. So thank you very much for coming. <laughs>